Aloha, my name is Andy Anderton. I'm 12 years old, go to 8th grade, and the 2013 Hawaii Geographic Bee Champion. I live on the island of Kauai, the northernmost and oldest of the main Hawaiian Islands. In my opinion, it is also very beautiful. And other people think so too. Throughout the years, it's become a popular tourism destination and a very hot place to film movies in the film industry. Aloha. A cool place to visit on Kauai is the Kilauea Lighthouse. Kauai is famous for its beaches and rivers. On Kauai, you can either go play at the beach or you can kayak on the river, which is also fun. A cool place to visit on Kauai is Waimea Canyon Lookout. Taro, which was once a staple crop of the Hawaiians, now constitutes a major agricultural activity in Hanalei Valley, growing 80% of Hawaii's taro. If somebody gave me a free ticket to go anywhere in the world, I would want to go to Easter Island. I've been wanting to go there for many times since I was little. It is home to these amazing statues, which I think are really cool and I would like to see them. Also, I think its cultural heritage is really amazing and unlike that of anywhere in the world. To come to Kauai, you have to visit the Kauai Coffee Company, the largest coffee plantation in the United States. Hey Nat Geo fans! I have a question for you. One of the types of coffees grown here is famously being grown in the Blue Mountains of what Caribbean country? Can't answer it? If you answer Jamaica, you are correct. If I could trade places with a famous explorer, it would be Captain James Cook because he made very important discoveries in his time. He was the first Western to discover Hawaii, which I find very significant. My favorite geography fact is that Hawaii is the most isolated inhabited archipelago in the world. Behind me are the distances from Hawaii to various places across the world. As you can judge by the distances, Hawaii is in the middle of nowhere. If I was in charge of the world for the entire day, the first issue I would tackle but we find new reliable sources of fuel for the future when we do not have any more fossil fuels left. I would do this by encouraging scientists to learn about new ways that you can fuel our cars and industries. The bird behind me is the nene, or the Hawaiian goose. It is a state bird of Hawaii and also an endangered species. It is believed to be a close relative of the Canada goose and it's also believed to have come here many millions of years ago and evolved to its island lifestyle. This is one of the diverse forms of wildlife we have in Hawaii, peacocks. What's my secret to cramming all that information in my brain? The truth is, I don't have a secret. To cram all that information in your brain, you just have to like what you're learning and have a good memory. When I grow up, I want to be an archaeologist. Because I think it's a very interesting job because you can discover things about ancient cultures that nobody knew. And you can learn a lot more about the ancient world. 